different objects and you can just add on to this. Okay, this is a good way for showing your PC. This is status, a slider, and maybe a button. Next, can the whole bunch of controls with the image view. Maybe you can add an image. So let me go ahead and uh, make another app. 
front of you. And uh, this is the place that you can open. And, uh, there are notifications, uh, functions that are made whenever the view gets loaded. Okay, 
morning. So like I said, um, the app needs an ID name. So I need to get that. So that this can be specified in um, the previous file. So I will run. So I will run this checks. You know this box is much longer. So do we have a problem? Yes. Okay. So, so that's how you get it on the device. And of course, it's possible to debug it. So you can just place fake points. Place fake points. You just have to get a marker of this area. Yes, you can do that. It's not big Okay, I think we'll not go into this exercise further. So coming back. We already uh ran it on the simulator. We are running on the device, debugging the data. So so I won't take much of your time now. Now the other thing is uh, if you want to get this app uh, uploaded.
So I think that's that's all. So is there any questions if you have then I can take them. Uh, yes, there are third party apps stores, but uh, that is something which is not uh, authorized by Apple. Okay, so let me tell you, uh, earlier when, uh, some years back when I was uh, doing the mobile development site for Windows CE, if we had an app developer, then we didn't know where to sell it, right? It was to sell it to each other person. And that was only possible uh, by some companies which had online shops. Just like your own as eBay. Okay, they were online shops. And what they did was they took their binaries and uh, they did all the money handling stuff. And then you had a sales guy with you who has to constantly check different stores where your apps are hosted. So let's say we have a uh, online site, online app site in US. So it's only known by the people out there. Okay, so there are a lot of such online shops. Now they are slowly closing down because almost all the people they have realized uh, that it's very really difficult for the user like, to find the shop, to get the app. It's always good to have a single place like uh, like the app store from where the user can download stuff. And Apple has gone even one step ahead and they are giving a rating and all that thing so that with all the clutter of applications, right? The best applications is kind of uh, no, I don't think Apple would want to encourage that. For for the only reason being, see there are multiple stores, right? You have to negotiate with each store for the commission that that particular store is going to. Right. So there will be such stores coming, but Apple won't uh, be encouraging that. So if you went and downloaded some things, some stuff from that machine, and let's say your machine popped off, then you are on your own. Because if you go to App Store and say that you downloaded, you go to the Apple Retail Store and say you downloaded this from some third party, they will say, sorry, just go to the app, you get it out. So I don't think this will be encouraged, but I mean it's for uh, time to tell whether it will happen or not. Uh, anything else? device which was customized 
and there will be one of the same piece of code on some of the devices. Like the second device has a different resolution, right? And different set of hardware and other things. And there is some level of customization that you need to you need to do that. So the like I'm doing. So there is some customization required. Nevertheless, there is no such thing for iPhone uh, developments. Uh, there are just fixed resolutions for uh, your iPhone and your iPad. And uh, you don't have to think about some XYZ developing another version of the wanting to support that. So that's the advantage side of it.